Hello everyone. In this uh, tutorial, I will tell you how to install Drupal. We will install it on WAMP, but you can also install it on your website where you have hosted using the control panel. So let's start. We will install it on the WAMP server. We have the WAMP server over here in the local host. So the first thing is to download Drupal and we will in download it from drupal.org here it is we'll go to the click on the click on try drupal and download here it is we'll round download the zip file Let me download it. Uh, let me download it on the desktop. It takes uh, some time to download. So we have downloaded the Drupal 10.0.7 zip file. Uh, open the zip file. We have the Drupal. We have Drupal 10.0.7 folder in it so I will install it on the WAMP server so I'll go to the WAMP folder over here here is WAMP64 and go to the www folder select the folder and extract the folder in the www folder of the WAMP it takes uh, some time So here we have the Drupal 10.0.7 folder. You can rename it to. You can rename the folder to uh, any name. Let me rename it to Realtors, for example. <clears throat> now, once we have this Realtors folder in the www folder, we can start installation of the Drupal. So we will install it by saying localhost slash realtors and this is the name of the folder that we have just copied uh, now here is the first page of the Drupal installation it is asking for the language I will select English I will select the standard installation. Now here it says uh, the database I will use. Uh, I will use MySQL. The database name I will mention the one that I did in the created in the uh, during the setup. I will go to the PHP my admin. Uh, log into the now here if you see we have the uh, the databases uh, we have a real estate database which is an empty database so i will use this database over here so i will say real estate this is name of the database and the database username is the user that i created for this database and that username was Heather. So I will use the name Heather over here. And the password uh, I gave over there was 123. It will be the same password. So I will say 123. Don't, I don't need to set up the advanced options. So I will leave it as it is. I will click on save and continue. The installation has been started. It takes uh, some time to install. 
uh, it is installing uh, different modules <coughs> now you have to configure the site so the first thing is to give the site name uh, let me give it the name realtors you can give it any name to the website it will be it will be it will be displayed at the top of the website the next thing is the site email address uh, let me give it my email address uh, the next thing is to give a username uh, for the site uh, management so usually uh, you can give it username admin or you can uh, give it any name with a password uh, reconfirm the password and then you can give the default country uh, since I'm in Pakistan I will give it Pakistan you can also give it a default time zone and you can set the update notifications uh, I will leave the default as it is uh, just unclick the receive email notifications and click on save and continue So we have installed uh, the Drupal website and it is up and running now. So this is how we install. Congratulations, you, you, are, you installed Drupal. This is the first page and we will continue uh, configuring our Drupal site and we will add contents to this website. So please stay connected. Thank you very much.